So all this, these sides are done, and now we're going to ask ourselves, as we do these, when am I going to have to start doing algorithms? Or can I continue to get away with not doing that? Uh, well, I guess we can start off. The problem is that uh, I'm, I'm going to run into trouble with some of these. So what can I easily do? Well, I could move this into here. Well, here's the thing. I think what we're going to want to do is let's get all of the ones, these colors, correct. I think it's going to be easier that way. So what that's going to mean is down, down, up, up. Okay, the reason why I want to get these, uh, these correct, these correct because these can be rotated. So you can see that this isn't where we want it to be. So I'm going to move this like so and go up. Up, down, down, and just kind of move it back. Okay, so let's get all of these guys in. So this is going to be up, up, down, down. Because the algorithm that rotates these just rotates it from this angle here. Uh, okay, so... That one is in. I think I might have taken. Uh, I think I might have taken this blue one out somehow. Um, oh, you know, I paired it with this, which was my mistake. Not a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back up, up, down, down. And let me take this away over here. That way, I can pair it with this here. So down, down, up, up, and this will move back. So now that I've got this in, I can now move this up to here by pairing these three. This needs to come up to here, so we're going to go down, down, up, up. Okay, so this is in, uh, and I like the fact that this pink one is in. But this, this needs to come up to here. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to do that without taking these out. So I'm going to have to do some algorithms to get these in. Now what I could do is move this down like so. I really want to get this into this spot. Well, let's see. If I were to move this here, I could cycle this into here. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's do the algorithm. So this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. I'll have to do it twice to move this in. So let's see if I remember this. It's going to be dino R, 3 by 3 U, dino R I U I. Okay, now what happened is that this went down like so, it's a dino down, and then a DI, it's a 3 by 3 DI, and this went back up. Then U R U I R I. This came back down. This comes back across here, and this comes back here. Okay. Now, if I move this, oh, I got to do it again to move this into here. Okay. So R U R I U I. This comes down here, cross and up. U R U I R I. Comes back down, back across here and up. Okay. Upon doing that, I then dyno this back, and now you can see this is in. So good, good, good. Um, so we'll, we'll, we have a situation where these two have to swap. Now, because I can't do single swaps, uh, I have to use the equivalencies of these pieces. So, in order to get this to here and this to here, I need a third piece. So, this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. But I don't really want to do it that way. What I want to do instead is if I move this out of the way... No. 
Okay, we'll have to find a way to sort of coordinate these pieces together here. Uh, let's see. What if I want, like... Well, okay. If I could go, like... This? Nope. Okay, what if I want like this? Okay, I have to be very clear what I'm trying to do. Um, this eventually needs to get to here. So why don't I take this over here, turn this like so, take it up. Okay, now I should be able to find my way home if I can just remember this move over here. Um, and then I can sort of cycle these guys, but let me make sure that I have a good memory of where it has to go. So this needs to go where this pink one is. So if this goes here, here, and here, this needs to go here. So turn this upside down. If I move this twice, do that algorithm twice, this will end up here. So R U. All right, UI, turn, 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 U, R, U, I, R, I, turn, turn, turn. I got to do it one more time to get this red one where I want it to be and this pink to be here and this pink will be back up to here. So, R, U, R, I, U, I. Down with this down, three by three it here, down it up, reverse it, U, R, U, I, R, I, down, back, and up. Okay, now it's just a matter of finding my way back home. How did I do it? Um, well, I think this went to here, this went to here, and this went to here. Okay. So what we see is all of these are now in. So that algorithm worked. Now it's a matter of getting these pedals in. <clears throat> uh, now let's see, uh, maybe I can just force a little bit of it because this can go into here quite nicely. So what if I brought this to here and then went up, down, down, up, and brought this back here, okay. Kind of lucked out with that one. See, everything is in. So now I just need to get these pedals in, and that's going to be a little harder to force it in. I see one is in here, one is in here. Um, so I think now is the time to utilize the algorithms that we that we're doing. Okay, I think the way this algorithm <coughs> is going to work is we're going to do the same R, U, R, U, I, but we're going to be doing all three by three moves. So this pedal will be coming down here to exchange with this pedal. So I think this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. So that's that's what I need to coordinate. Well, do I want this to go here? I don't, so let's see what else we can coordinate here. Um, okay, I'm seeing a bunch of reds here, but if I move this into here, I'm gonna move this to here, this to here, and this to here, which means a red one will end up here if, if my thinking is correct about this. Um, oh, actually, no, it's got to be, it's got to be over here. Uh, so that means to move it to here, I'm going to have to do a couple steps. Step one, step two. So that's two steps. Um, okay, well, let's try and see what happens. R, U, R, I, U, I. This comes down, three by three it down, three by three it across, three by three it up. Then U R U I R I three by three down, pull it back the other way, and three by three up. up. Okay, so this one to here, this one, this one to here. Where did this red go? Hmm. Well, let's let's bring it back and see what it did. This goes to here, 
and this goes to here. This is a two-step process. And uh, where did this silver one come from? So this ended up here somehow, I think. This to here, this to here. Oh, it, it, it had to be here. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Anything else get messed up? I don't think so. Okay, um, this to here, this to here. I, I thought it was here though. Well, this will go here. I'll move this like so. Oh, the gray's not in yet, so that's okay. Now I'm gonna move this like thus. All right, let's see if this works. R U R I U I down across up. U R U I R I down back and up. Uh, okay, so this turn to here and this turn to here. Okay, um, this did end up over here, but I, I have a feeling this came out from here, or maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. So now I want this to move here. Okay, so I think I thought it was gonna go here, but that's okay. So this to here, this needs to go to here. But in reality, I think I'll, I'll see if I can move the pink one in. Okay, so this will go here, this will go here, and this will go here. So the silver one will be in, and the pink one will be in. So R U R I U I down across up U R U I R I down back and up. Okay, silver one is in, pink one is in. So so far looking good. This will move back well to here. And this will move up to here. Whoop. Move back to here. Okay. So at the end of the day, um, that did do what I thought it was going to do. But now I've got these two to deal with. Okay. So I had to do a little bit of damage control. Getting some things back. Taking some things out. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is try to minimize how much motions. Because I, I couldn't find my way home. This to here. And this is going to go here. And this is going to go back up here. So I can easily turn this like so. It should be fairly easy for me to remember. And now um, what I need is a, maybe a silver one to come in this spot. So I'm going to move this to here and then move this to here. I just have to remember to move this back and then keep going with that in order to make that make sense. So let's try it. R U R I U I and turn Turn, turn, then U R U I R I, then turn, turn, and turn. Okay, without any further ado, let's get back what we had. This is going to come back to here, and this goes back to here, and this has to come over to here. Okay, so in that way, we put this in here. Now I just have to exchange these guys. Now what's the easiest way to do that? Well, I can still... Oh, I don't want to use that. So let's try to set it up from here. This will go here. All right, so these are the things that are going to be utilized, but this needs to be the one that is exchanged. Okay. Uh, what have I done? This to here. Now, if I move this here, this can automatically be part of it. So I just need to move this comfortably into this spot. So if I start off with here, this is an independent variable here, and then here. Okay? Now for this to participate in coming into here, I'm going to move this like so, then move this down like thus. Okay, just have to remember to move this back and then I should do a nice three cycle of these three things, and I gotta do it twice. 
Okay, so R U R I U I down turn up U R U I R I down back up. Okay, one more time. R U R I U I down turn up U R U I R I down back up. Okay, I move this one first, so this will go to here, and this will go down to here. Then this one got moved. Move to here and here. Okay, so phew, that one worked. So in this case, now we can see that all these are in. Now we just have to move these guys in. And this is the algorithm that moved these along. And hopefully, this will be a little bit easier uh, for me to um, for me to visualize. Okay, so it's really just a matter of positioning. These are in line, but maybe I can find a better positioning. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want to move this to here, maybe. And how can I how can I do that? All right, this to here, this to here, this to here. Can I move the green center? Well, better yet, how about I move the gray center up here somehow? Yeah. So what if I go like this? Boom. So now if I move it twice, this will be here, and this will be up here, which is where I want it to be. Okay, so let's see if I remember how this worked. This was R, U, R, I, U, I. And then this went down to here, turn in here. Then U R U I R I here back and here. Okay, one more should plant this here and this here. So R U R I U I dino it down. I think. Oh, dino it down here. Move it in here and back. Then U R U I R I. I know it here, back, and here. Okay, very good. Now I just have to move it back in to this position over here. And good. So good and good. So where does that leave us? This one, this one, and this one. Okay, so uh, this is already in line. This here, here, and here. I gotta get this this one in line, I gotta move this down to here. So what if I went like that? And then I went like boom. Okay, so one algorithm should be able to do this. Just have to remember to move it back like this. So we've got R U R I U I. This will come down to dino it here. Three by three here and up. Then U R U I R I. Dino it back down to here. Turn and here. Now let's see if we can find our way home. I think this went to here. This went to here and aha! Done. Okay, so there it is. Um, it's a hybrid puzzle to the truest definition. It's not just a hybrid puzzle. It's a multi-hybrid puzzle. By multi-hybrid, is not only do you have a combination of 3x3 three three moves and dyna moves, but you also have an inner copy move as well. And that is these pieces over here. So these are placed by these pieces here, which is really a copy solve, followed by using both, both dyna moves and 3x3 three three moves. And you're not reducing one kind of cube to another. You're not reducing a dyna to a 3x3. Three three. You're utilizing all of these at once, using strategy to, um, uh, uh, to get as many side solved as possible, then only using algorithms toward the end. So the perfect fun to solve experience. And now that the rain is gone, I'm going to make use of the day. So more uh, clues and solves to come. Thanks for watching.